What's up guys? Missing your UEFI settings in Windows 10? Don't worry, I've got 6 super easy ways to fix it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Juned here. Today, I'm going to show you, 6 different ways, to fix missing UEFI firmware settings in Windows 10. Whether you prefer recovery, CMD, PowerShell, MS config, shift key or run method, I've got you covered. First, we need to check whether your system is using UEFI or legacy BIOS mode. Head over to system information and look for BIOS mode. If it says legacy, we've got some work to do. Restart your computer and enter the BIOS settings by pressing specific key. Remember that the BIOS keys are different for every motherboard. Generally, the keys are F10, F12, F9. You may need to find it according to your system via internet. Once you're in, Navigate to the Startup or Boot tab. Now, find the boot mode, and set the UEFI's boot mode. Now save the changes, by pressing specific key. Once the system restarted, check for the UEFI setting is available or not. If, still the UEFI setting is missing, you may need to turn off the fast startup feature, to do that follow these steps. First open, Control Panel. Click on System and Security. Under Power Options, click on Choose what the power buttons do. Click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable. In the Shutdown Settings, uncheck the box next to Turn on Fast Startup, Recommended. Now, click on Save Changes. Finally, restart your computer and check the UEFI settings. If the UEFI settings are still missing from your system, I've shared 6 methods to access the UEFI firmware settings, that you can try. Go to Settings. Click on Update and Security. Then Recovery. And under Advanced Startup, click Restart Now. Once your PC restarts, select Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. As you can see, UEFI firmware settings is now available in your system. If these method doesn't work for you, don't worry, you can try the next 5 methods. First, open Command Prompt as Administrator. Type this command. After typing the command, press Enter key. Your UEFI settings should appear. Now, the PowerShell method. Open PowerShell as administrator. Type the following command. After, entering the command, press Enter key. Once you see this dialog, your system will reboot into UEFI settings. Next, the MS config method. Press Windows plus R. Type MS config. Go to the boot tab. Under the boot options, check the box next to the safe boot, and select minimal boot. Save the changes, by clicking on the OK. To boot into the safe boot, simply click on restart. Once the system is booted into the safe boot, go to the settings. Click on update and security. Then recovery. Under the advanced startup click on restart now. Click on troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Now from here, you can access the UEFI firmware settings. If these method doesn't work for you, you can try the next methods. Fifth method, the Shift Key method. Go to the Power Options, from the Start menu. Press and hold the Shift key, and click on Restart, 
at the same time. Once your PC restarts, select Troubleshoot. Then Advanced Options. Now you can access the UEFI firmware settings from here. If this method doesn't work for you, you can try the next method. Finally, the run command method. Press Windows and R key at the same time. Now enter the following command, and press Enter key. Once the system is restarted, select Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. From here, you can access the UEFI firmware settings. If you're finding these methods helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tech tips. Before we wrap up, here's a quick bonus hack that'll make accessing your UEFI settings just one click away. You know how it can be a bit of a hassle to get into UEFI settings every time? Let's fix that by creating a desktop shortcut that takes you straight there. First, right-click anywhere on your desktop, select New, and then choose Shortcut. In the Location box, enter this command. Then, click on Next. Give your shortcut a name. Click Finish. Please hold on, the steps is not completed yet, this is very important steps. Select the shortcut, then right-click on it. Click on Properties. Here, make sure, the Shortcut tab is selected. Click on Advanced. Check the box, next to the Run as Administrator. Click on OK. Click on Apply and then click on OK. Next time when you want to boot your system in UEFI settings, simply double-click on the shortcut. Your UEFI settings are now just one click away. If this tip saved you time, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more quick Windows tricks and fixes. Got any other tech problems? Drop them in the comments, I might just cover them in my next video.